Hi, and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers in the depths of Wales once more. Always Wales. Yes. Always. Best stuff in Wales. To be fair, some of the best abandoned buildings we have ever been to have been in Wales. Yes. So I cannot complain, really. It's just as long as we don't have to speak to anyone. So. Yeah, hopefully not, apart from grab a bacon, egg, sausage, mushroom, butty, please. <laughs> it were good. Wow. The food, that burger I had were homemade it was really nice really really nice so we are in a house stroke cottage we've just been saying what is the difference between a house and a cottage i feel like we've mentioned this before and i don't know what the definition of a cottage is where is he just gone oh he's down there god knows you will see on his video beeper bear and also there's a video coming out on beeper beef talking about how best to edit Beeper Bear, whether to have music over the top, a commentary over the top, just the clicking horrible noises that it makes, me pretending to be bear and talking as it... A bear, like oh, a grizzly. Oh, hi, I'm looking round <laughs> past this now. Like, God knows what I'm supposed to do, but yeah. I, I want to ask you guys and let you see what you want me to do and you how you how want it to be how. Yeah. That how you want it to be, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna get looking around. We're in the pantry at the moment, um, and there's some nice little weighing scales up there. Oh, I'll show, show you those. Show you the fish no. steamer thing. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, fish poacher. Well, instead of just talking about it, let's show them. Yeah, come on, come. So, it's there's not much in here, but it is a little pantry with the old style scales on. I do like that one to be fair with the gold top, and that's the, the fish. Is it fish smoker? I think it's either fish smoker or fish steamer. Oh, steamer. Yeah, because I think there's a, a tray in the bottom, you put some hot water in it. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. But I know it's for fish. Yeah. And that, I recognise that straight away. That's Port Merion. I'm sure Port Merion's quite collectible, or it was at some point. I don't know if it is anymore. They're all quite. Oh, look at that noise then. I don't know. I don't know if it were in burping. Might have been in burping. Are you burping, bear? You good boy. You're going to go and have a good explore, go and find some stuff. It's got steam coming out of his nose. Oh, look, the owl and the pussycat. Oh, then he just shut the door on it. Photo Mason. Ooh, that's quite classic, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right, come on then, let's go through. Now, this first room is a little bit trashed. It's the one we first came in through. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. But look at the sink. Have you seen the sink? It's not Belfast sink, but it's still made out of, um, what's it called? Pot. Yeah, but pot's not the word, is it? Earthenware. It's no. What's the word? What's that word? You know um, the word to explain that? What is it? Cast. Cast? Shut up. <laughs> what's it called now? Um... Oh, I don't know. It'll come to me. Hey, what's this? Ye old pie shop. Ye old pie shop. Do you reckon they used to... Have you seen the milk churns as well? They are decent milk churns, those. I always want stuff like that in my house, but I don't know what I'd do with it. My missus have got some good milk churns. I don't want to know. That's disgusting. That is not a thought I want in my head at all. Right, keep going through then. Because like I said, this is probably the worst room in the house from what I've seen. What is it? What is that word for that material? I'm sure they'll tell us in the comments. Oh, Do you know what I like about it though? It's got a built-in drainer. Yeah, it's uh, just a sink itself. Yeah, it's really good, I like it. But no, but it's not flat, it's like ridged. Yeah, right. for your pleasure. <laughs> for your washing pleasure. Look at it in here, look at the old um, brass stuff. You know what, today, I feel like I'm talking a lot, but I feel like I've lost my words. We you were speaking have. earlier on, I can't say words anymore. But yeah, the old brass bits and bobs around the old, old arga as well. What, did we establish a range is like an arga, but bigger? Yeah. What were them then that you had? Old coins. Look at these. Oh, wow. Are these the old, the, what are they? Charles and Diana, turn it over. Are they five pound coins? Are they five pound coins? I don't know, can't can see. you tell me if they're five pound coins? T turn it so we can actually read it. There we go. It doesn't tell if they're five pound coins, but I think they are. I think they're five each, though. 
Oh, 50p. Yeah, well, they're on here, look. If you look at these, you've got the old 50p, the old 5p. Oh, oh look. All the different years as well. That's really, really good. Oh, I do like these. What's the 1987? These shouldn't be left here. No, they shouldn't. They're not really worth anything, most of these, you know. They still do, still should be left here a lot. Oh, look. That same as that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. Turn that one over. It should it'd probably be the same, look, there. Yeah. Turn it over then. I'm scared they're gonna fall out. I think they're all right. So yeah, that's got a, a six pence a half penny, three threepence florin, penny and half crown. Oh, that's got the old half p as well. Oh, half pence. Yeah, that's mad. The thing is, these days, right? What can you actually buy for less than a pound? Not a great deal. There's not hardly anything. I remember you used to get sweets for a penny, and then like for five pence you, or ten pence, you might get ten p mix. We get on a bus. For 2p. 2p, I used to get a bus, yeah. yeah. Then it went up to 5, then to 10. And that's when I stopped because of my tight started walking. 15, 20, and then I think I stopped going on buses at that point. I always said when a, a pint become a pound, I'd stop drinking. <laughs> really? Yeah. And it's like a fiver now. Because it, it was like 75 pence a pint when I was going out. Oh, look, on a Monday night in Hillsborough down the old blue ball, it was 50 pence a pint what all night. Yeah. In fact, 50 pence any drink all night. I used to get absolutely bladdered. Yeah. <laughs> I took a tenner out and I absolutely shit faced me. Yeah. Well, that's it. You could, and you could get ten, pint, 10 pints for a fiver. Do you know what I mean? You, you couldn't go wrong. It was Grand Chef. It was been brilliant. What's in that? Bowls. Apart from all these things. Oh, yeah, it is. Old set of bowls. They're really good. I like those. Stop picking dirty knickers up. You're a tramp. I could just. He keeps scaring me in with that torch. I keep seeing it flashing about. He's a bit lopsided tonight. His camera's off tonight. It's not even a night, is it? This is a brand new washing machine. Still in packaging and everything. Oh, Montpellier. Why is there a brand new washing machine in here? It's a washer or a, or a dishwasher. Oh, is it a dishwasher? Oh, look at the bugle as well. What's the difference between that one and that one? Is that a horn and that's a bugle? That's just been straightened out. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Over here as well. Oh, I can see something that I used to collect, and I used to collect loads and loads of it. Hornsey pottery down in the corner. In fact, I think this is Hornsey pottery as well. This brown stuff. But yeah, uh, yeah, that teapot definitely is Hornsey. I used to have loads. I mean, I used to have about two thousand pieces of Hornsey pottery. What are you pulling that face for? What's wrong? Shall I come and have a look? Yeah. Right, what's in here? Why are you hiding it from me? I'm ready. Yeah. Ah, oh, brilliant. I can still only see the back of your head. <laughs> oh, jelly moulds and stuff. Let me get past you jelly then. Mold, another fish thing. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Ooh. No, get off me, you tramp. Oh, look at these. Yeah, that is like a fish, a fish thing, isn't it? It's the sewing machines at the top, aren't they? Yeah, I saw those. Three singers. Singer, singer, singer. Is it like a... Three tenors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, you've got all other stuff down here, like... Some of these are worth something with the fruits on. But, yeah, the jelly moulds. I love old jelly moulds like that. A big lamp there as well. What's... Is that a bed warmer? Could be an old bed pan, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Because it's got, like, the... Filler at the top. Yeah. And what's this bit here? This little is that to make hot chocolate or cocoa or something? Could be. With a little handle on it. You put it over the fire and then it pours like it's got a pouring thing. Yeah, another bowls. Oh yeah, bowls set in the bag. Oh, it's good in here. There's all sorts of stuff. I thought that were haunting, but it's not. More more uh, Fortnum and Mason stuff. Mm. What's in the box? And there as well. Oh yeah, I've not looked in there. Shut the top ones a minute. That's it, now open that bottom one. Oh, look at the size of that. I can't bend, I won't have to stick my arse in your face a minute. Not down. One gallon, that is. Is it? It says on it. And then there's a big Indian type lamp behind it as well. But yeah, that, that is stamped up and everything. That one. I bet, really good, doesn't it? Yeah, I bet it's worth a bit, you know, that. Is there anything in this, this side? 
No, it's Not just China, it? yeah, just the china and things like that. Oh wow, what a lovely little treasure trove that was. I can open it now. Yeah, with those in the bottom and those in the top. That's really good. And then you've got all the old games here, look. Massive and dominoes backgammon. and backgammon, yeah. Oh, I've got some of the mail up. Oh yeah. I did used to know how to play backgammon, but I've forgotten. I don't know, just be I, careful. I'm, I reckon there's a lot of water coming in, look, because there's pots all over that are full of water. There's some more over there. Yeah. So, I don't know whether it's because it's daytime, not nighttime, but I seem hype. I feel hyper. <laughs> not tired. I'm, yeah, I'm just talking at a million miles an hour. That's what it is. Yeah. But, we haven't been up since like six o'clock in the morning mucking horses out and working all day. And then... Well, I have been mucking out horses this morning, but then we came straight off, didn't we, at like nine, ten o'clock. So, right, we'll get looking around in one of the other rooms, see what we can find in there. In fact, before we go any further, look at this floor. I love floors like this. Proper, like, they're not, they will have been put down individually, won't they, though? So yeah. will they? Yeah. You think? You can, feel, you can feel the ridges. Oh, yeah, you can. But I like this. I don't know, there's something about this that I like, you know. You know the colour of this? Like the glow. Where have you gone? Just having a conversation with you and you're in another room. Yeah, you know, like the glow it gives in here. Yeah. From the, this colour glass. I really like it. And the old letters post box on the other side. What's under there? Is it all the garden stuff? Oh yeah. Saw and stuff like that. Like that. Ceiling's coming, but clean it up. Oh yeah? Yeah, but I wonder if that was while they were living here and then because oh look, look, look at this. That's here, looking out of that door. It is. And look at the little old pram there in that as well. With, I'm guessing, maybe grandma and granddad. I wonder when that, I wonder what that were then. It's him on the stairs. Yeah. Bear having a rummage. Definitely needs to check on his video, see if he can find any little mice and rats and stuff when he's, uh, he's looking round. Right, let's move on to the next room. God, it's freezing in here. It is so cold. I'm really, really cold. Oh, Andy, look. Look at these. They're at a bar. Do you reckon they're... Is it a bar? Yeah. 1950s? Looking at his glasses? No, no, maybe, no, it could be 60s. Maybe 60s. And then we've got... 60s, maybe early 70s. You reckon 70s? Yeah. Oh, I don't think as late as that. I think 50s, 60s. But I don't know, you might be right. You were alive then, I wasn't. So. What's these? Oh, is there more? Oh yeah, turn that round. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, look at them on the little canoe. I wonder where that is. That's there's a massive good. lake not far off from here though, is there? Well, there's the sea, about two minutes away. Oh, yeah, there isn't so it could be the sea. Oh, that looks like a big wedding cake there, look. That's quite a grand wedding cake. See, that looks like maybe 60s, but then I'd say that looks before. It's the road, I think you can hear outside. No, it's glare of that torch oh, there is. Keep seeing it. Yeah. Oh, she looks nice. Oh, she's got quite a lot of forehead. It's a bit of a five head. Keep going. Oh, there she is again. That's her again, isn't it? On there. In fact, I think she might be the one that was in the canoe, you know. Is it? I think so. Blood. <laughs> Action photo. Try and catch you running past. Oh, forget it. <laughs> She's on a bike, you fool. She's on a bike. Yeah. Go on, keep going. Oh, look at them. They look like they're going to rough you up. I wonder if that's that same girl again there. Oh, is that here, do you think? That could, that could be. When the grass was all cut and it wasn't well, just... the front, possibly. I yeah, maybe. Is that the last of that one? Yeah. Then I'll look. I keep noticing this clock. That clock, I feel like I've seen that or something similar to that before. And then this fireplace, oh, I love this. Fireplace Appreciation Society. Yeah, I absolutely, Bear apparently likes it too. But I really like the metalwork on that. Normally it's the tiles for me, but it's the metalwork on that because it's all um, like dinted. What's it called when it's like dinted? Dimple, dimple work. Is it dimple work? Bear yeah. wants to go up the thing. Ooh, catch them on your knackers, you're in trouble, don't you? Bear, can I can I actually see 
what I'm looking at. No, is that a no? That's a definite no. <laughs> What's the little shelf for up there? I don't know. I'm going to put the clock on it, wouldn't they? <sighs> David Cameron, for the record about my pig sexual days. <laughs> was that actually him or was that somebody else? What? The, it were David the Cameron. With the, had it had something with a pig. Did you ever see Black Mirror? No. Black Mirror it talks about a prime minister that has sex with a pig. It's obviously directly at him. Yeah. But he has to, basically in the story, he has to have sex with a pig live on telly. Um, so the princess, because the princess has been taken hostage. Yeah. And unless he does, they'll kill the princess. Oh, so they'll kill princess. You need to watch Black Mirror. It's really good. It's really good. That fire's horrible. You get this lovely thing and then there's that. And that electric heater. But I suppose if you've not got the money for the fuel, it's probably going to be better to put electric on, or it would have been back then. Back maybe, then, yes. Maybe not now. Oh, what's this? Oh, coal skull. Is it a coal skull? I think so. Oh, look. Yeah, probably is. Either that or a shoe warmer. <laughs> I think I've just made that up. Is he off upstairs? <laughs> Just slowly. Slowly, but surely. <laughs> He's like an old man trying to go upstairs to the toilet. He's not sure if he wants to go up there or not. I love how he goes around. That picture is amazing. We've got central heating now, though. Well, yeah, but they're possibly previous to that, though, yeah. aren't they? And why heat the whole house when you can just heat one room if you're just going to be in that room? Yeah. So, But look how overgrown it is out there. It's like a jungle out of every window as well. I know. It's coming through there. Look. It's a shame, really, because if that is outside, that photo we're looking at, and how lovely it was and what it's like now. Seeing the old vents up there as well. Yeah. Do you know why they used to have things like that in our, in your main rooms? Why? Um, things like oil lamps and stuff. Because all the smoke and oh, all yeah. things like that. Oh, fire. Oh, the fire, yeah. They'd go up and come out. But this picture is amazing. I don't know what it's from, but I really, really like it. Like, don't get me wrong, it's only on paper, but... I don't know what it's supposed to be depicting. It looks like different places in maybe Italy. Rome, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. Oh yeah, is that the Col Colosseum? Colosseum? Yeah, that's really good. These little, oh, I like that. Oh, I don't know why I like that. This is this is a little bit like a penis, but I do like it. That's oh, a butt plug. Open the door. Let me have a look at it. It looks like very thin glass, look. That would... Uh, That'd probably shatter up your bum hole, to be fair. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah. But there's all sorts of little bits of pottery all over. Oh, he's back, look. No, look upstairs. Yeah, now he's having a look out at window. I see you on top, can you? Yeah. I feel like I, there's a lot of these bits of pottery that I recognise. We're well, trying to work, remember what... There's nothing on it. Obviously, this isn't Satsuma wear, but I am trying to remember the name of Satsuma the other day. That's nothing. That's just... Oh, it's Port Merion. So it is something, but it's, it's modern Port Marion. Yeah. But I like these windows. Look at these windows as well. This would be a lovely room to come and sit in, wouldn't yeah. it? But anyway, oh, it's in the winder as well. Yeah, I wonder what that's for. Blinds, maybe? Not blinds, shutters. Good saying on the outside. Yeah, maybe there isn't Then we couldn't really see how could we come Oh, out? no. The house is virtually covered in vines outside. Yeah, look at it. Look at the front garden. Now, the road is literally at the other side of those. But you've got the mountains in the background. But this would have been their lovely front garden. And look how bad it is now. Such a shame, isn't it? Walking up here, if you looked at this from the road, all you can see is the roof. Yeah. You can't see the front of it. Exactly. So, but that's why it's so amazing that it looks like this inside. inside. You'd think it'd be just fallen down and a mess. I wonder if it's been like a little old lady that lived here and she's not been able to maintain that garden and it's slowly gone and then she's slowly she's gone. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think. It's such a shame. I don't know if they're, are they matching? No, I think it's similar but not matching. I wonder what it is that. I'd be interested to know. It's all broken. It's made in England. No, it doesn't really give you anything. But anyway. Let's move on. Let's keep going. Right, on into the next room. Look at the size of some of these pictures are massive. 
It's huge. And I don't know if that is material, you know, Andy. I don't know if that picture's on material. Always concerned with closing curtains. That next house is just there. That man's there. You said that, and then you said uh, that other video. Oh, and, and that man came banging on the on the door. No. What did he do to us? I'm not saying that. You said, "Oh, better not go in there because it's all open. Don't want people to catch us." He said that literally about 20 minutes after after I said it. So <laughs> shut it. <laughs> oh, look at this! Oh, look at this! Look in the corner. I like this. I do like these. It's a, what would it be an classed organ. as? It is an organ, but it surely, oh, it says it there. Is it the Boston organ, it says under there. I wonder if that's come from America. Because we we saw one, what is it? Look at him. Like a mountain dog, come on. He is, he's all right, leave him. People's furniture. Yeah, but they're not here. It doesn't matter. It does matter. Must be a classical lover. Why? Oh yeah, because there are all these on here, the yeah, opera and the records and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, it's um, we saw an organ in one of these places that we came to previously, and it had come all the way from America, hadn't it? Yeah. And it were really rare. Uh, we got in touch with the organ company and told them that it were here, and they were well, like, "And Summers." <laughs> what? <laughs> and Summers sell underwear, not oh, organs. Oh. What we got here? Look at all these photos. I'll come to them in a second. I just want to have a look. <gasps> move those chairs. Move the chairs. I want to look at that. Look at the mould on that. Oh, it's a furry chair. That's horrendous. That's really bad. Oh, right, look. Look at these tiles on this. I think they're relatively modern tiles. Yeah, but, I think they are. Yeah. But it looks nice. I love this fireplace. Barry, you've got an appreciation for fireplaces too. That's you like them, don't you? I do, I think that's brilliant. And then look at this old wedding photo. Look at that that she's got on her head. That's it's like a is. bra. She's got a big bra on her head. But it is good, that though. It's like a classic wedding dress, that, isn't it? Like, Very. not fitted, not anything else. It's no. just as is. Oh, that's that picture again. Yeah. And some... Some guy. Oh. I'm guessing that's more old money. Or is that foreign money? I think that might be foreign money in there. Oh, is that? I think that's Hummel. Oh. Hummel. Can you just lift that up? I don't know if it looks potentially fake Hummel. It might say Gobbles or it might say Hummel. No, it's Hummel, I think. Doesn't say the name on it, but I'm sure that sign is. That mark. Yeah. That's lovely, that. I really like that. Um, are you trumped? No. Bear, have you trumped? The dog. You're just going to blame dog always now, aren't you? Bear, have you been trumping? Are you trumping, boy? Go and find those rabbits. Go find them. Where are they? Where is it? Oh, is it there? Is it out that window? Good boy. Right. Let's have a look at these photos. Right, looking at these photos. Oh, didn't you say some, you had a picture of your dad and your mum similar to that? Yes, walking that seafront. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think, look, there's another one there walking down yeah. the seafront. I think people must have just... I think, I think we're Bridlington seafront. Yeah, I reckon it was probably just a thing though. Photographers, like a trend at the time yeah. for them to take photos of you almost an action photo or uh, maybe they just came up to you took a photograph of you and then said oh look i'll sell you this photo or whatever no, this is 25 pence yeah whatever look at that that's old that's like victorian on a postcard french postcard but that is old that's really really old who's rebecca turner don't know i just wondered why it would be on there yeah look oh to swords as in Madame Tussauds? Where is there a Madame Tussauds at the seafront? Is that, well, there's one Blackpool. Blackpool. Yeah, but that's surely not Blackpool. I suppose it could be, because if, if we're in Wales, it's not... Along the coast. Yeah, it? it's not that yeah. far. So it's still be about a two and a half hour drive. Well, yeah, exactly. But if you're going on holiday, I suppose it's, yeah, it's yeah. fair enough. Can you just move some of these so I can have a look? Oh, that's that same guy that were on one of those other photos, but he's at Land's End. 
These are that, it's that same family. Look, that's that woman there. Yeah. Is the woman there. Uh, let's just go through them bit by bit. I wonder if that's her as well, because that very distinctive nose. Yeah. That's baby. Yeah. That one says something on the back, but I think it's modern, isn't it? Oh, it's a lot later, isn't it? Yeah, I wonder where that is. Is that them, though? Not them? Yeah, because look at him. Yeah. I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. That's sad. Look at her. It's Theresa May. Not Theresa May. Other than what she called Prime Minister that lasted about two minutes. Yeah, her. What's she called? That's how significant she were in the British eyes. Oh, I don't know who they are. Why are they riding the men? Why not? <laughs> oh, that's quite a oh. nice wedding dress, isn't it? A little swing. A little swing. That's about the same here, isn't it? Yeah. What else we got? I'm trying to follow that while you're moving it over there. I'm like this. Well, don't I bring it to you? <sighs> yeah, but you take, why do you pass it to the other hand first? So my hand's not in the way. You just put it down. That's that same that one. one. That is that their wedding? Or is it the same? Pe I don't know if that is the same Could people. Be. I don't think it is. It's not. It's a wedding. Not a wedding. <laughs> I thought. This beach picture in a minute, not that one, underneath the big one. I oh, thought they'd one. got a football and then realised it's a baby's head. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, look at them sat on a little wall. Yeah, there are, there's a lot of the same oh, nice. people. Yeah, like the old nurses, that's good. That's that same woman as well. We're always on the wrong side when we're doing things like this. But we come around this side because that's it. Your hand's not in my way then. Yeah, that's her again, look. With that nose, it's that distinctive flat nose. Yeah. Looks like she's been British boxing champion. <laughs> Joe Bogner. I don't know who that is. I've heard of him. I'm guessing he's a boxer from yeah. the conversation we've just had. Look, you pick it up and put it up there when I'm pointing down here. You just, sometimes, Andrew, I just don't know what to make of Another you. Another one. Action photograph walking oh, on the yeah. seafront. Yeah, that's them. I don't know that, actually. I don't, I don't know. Oh, look at the cars in the background. Wait a minute. Look at them little cars in the background. When's that? 50s, 40s. Oh, I said 50s. Yeah. Oh, that's good. The thing is, the men in, uh, well, both men and women in the 50s and 60s, they always used to dress up properly, didn't they? Oh, I know, like a shirt and tie and stuff like My that. My dad wore a shirt and tie every single day. Yeah. No, even when he were on... And obviously, didn't wear them at work. So he was a shunter. He worked on pit top. He, he was a he was a shunter. Yeah. Is that why you're one now? Yeah. But like on his day off, shirt and tie. Yeah, but like, is it a good thing? Would you like to be back in that era where? No. You'd be uncomfortable. I'm sure you'd be uncomfortable being like that. Gap. <laughs> yeah, baby gap. Yeah. The like cars in that one. That's later, isn't it? Sixties, maybe. Yeah. Look at those cars. Chubby boy. Oh, I wonder if that's in here. Look at that settee. That settee's got some age to it. I don't mean in here yeah. as in this room. I was just saying if it was the same as that one, but it's not. No. It's not going to be long before it starts to really deteriorate, no. which is such a shame because we're not far from the coast. We're in a... In, is it Snowdonia National Park yeah. we're in? So it's it's a lovely area. And this place could be worth... Well, will be worth, a, be fortune. worth a fortune. Didn't we see it? A thing like that recently. A lamp. Yeah. It's very similar well, like, to one we've seen before that's wooden. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's a shame really. Oh. Yeah, it Does it fit together? Why has someone took it apart anyway? Why are you trying to fix it? You feel you've got a responsibility to fix it? Yeah, I can't do it. You could probably if you pulled the wire at the bottom you could probably yeah, do it. I'm but... just not that way inclined. Well no. <laughs> I just can't be asked to do that. Do it the slot in, I'll do it. I'm not making an effort. <laughs> not my house. Yeah, but you know if you come and stay here for ten years, you can claim it as yours. You can, can you? Yeah. Have you ever considered doing that? No. <laughs> Would you have ever done it like in your youth? Probably not, no. Yeah, but then you get a free house. Okay. That's if you can last 10 years. No, but if you li live here 10 years, do you have to pay council tax? It's not effectively yours, is it? 
Well, no, so technically you don't. You're not paying rent. So you could live here rent-free for 10 years, but then you'd have no gas or electric. Yeah. It'd be quite difficult to do, but say if you did it at 18, by 28, you're mortgage-free and got a really nice house. You can flog it. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, let's make our way upstairs. We've just been saying these stairs are really yeah. solid and nice. What you found? I thought it was going to be something really nice, but it's just full of batteries. <laughs> full. Hey, I could do with a uh, round battery for my car. Hey, and, a sta and some staplers. What people have, uh, what they've been doing in here. I told you I can't speak today. Oh, that's heavy. You can see that's heavy. Hey, what's it say on it, look? That's bronze. Yeah. Jeria F. Vici. Jeria F. Vici. Is he strangling him? Thought he was strangling him at first. Looks like it. Looks like they're a bit of a scrap. Yeah. What is he doing? I don't know. Let's go upstairs again. Oh, is there another upstairs? Looks like it. Oh, oh. steering banging about. This carpet's mouldy. A mouldy carpet? Oh. It's like most women in Rotherham. <laughs> it's like somebody left a penis behind. Oh. Ooh. It's like. You're a tramp. Oh, pants. Stop picking knickers up. What's wrong with you? And it's because you've got gloves on, innit? But I'm surprised you've not sniffed them. I think you would if I weren't here. Oh, look at this bed. Shit, here. Is it? Oh, yeah. Rap shit. No, but why is it all in that one spot? Why do I... <gasps> that's not rat, that's him. I wonder what he's doing. Or if there's rats upstairs and he's chasing them round. Yeah. But this bed... It's lovely. Right, isn't it? Yeah. I really. What's he doing up there? Oh, fireplace, fireplace underneath. Oh, under the bed? Yeah. Yeah, look, it's on the bed there. I reckon there's been a bird sat up there or something and pulled down. Oh, yeah. Big fireplace underneath. They're worth a bit, you know, fireplaces. That's cost iron, that one. Though. I know. What is he doing? He's, he's, a, he's alone to himself, isn't he? He's having a scrap with something, by the sounds of things. Either that or his head's just fell off. What camera's fell <laughs> yeah, off? Yeah, the camera, maybe. Yeah, look, there used to be a fire there. Yeah. In that corner, because that's why the tiles are there. These floorboards are brill. The original, the Big, one. thick floorboards. Really, really good. These chairs are good as well, though. Is, Is he coming now? Has he still got the torching camera? Oh, yeah. What have you been doing? What have you been doing up there? He's got, look at his head. He's just a cobweb dog. Bear, come here. Come here. Look. Look at me. Look at that head. What have you been doing? I can't wait to see your footage on there. But yeah, these chairs are nice. Really nice. I like the little patterns on them. Right. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's almost a roll top bath. But not quite. not quite. It's got the proper feet on it. Yeah. And oh, it's got them. You tramp. It's got them taps. We keep seeing these taps. I, love them taps. I think they're really good. You don't see taps like that. Or force it. If you're American. If you're American, force it. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's when they like screwed on too much. You're gonna force it off. <laughs> Look at this mirror. This mirror's weird. It's like handmade, like someone's made that mirror. Oh, put little tiles around it. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it, that? Oh, sorry, Ben, it's stuck in his foot then. What's that, a little wash basket thing? Yeah. It's got toilet rolls in it. Oh, is it? Right. So I'm guessing he'd gone up to the. Oh, wow. It's the old original wall. I thought it was it's weird wood. wallpaper at first, but it's the wall. It's wood. Oh. Oh. Wood. What are you on about? What wall are you on about the wall, Wayne? No, come here, you absolute weirdo. Up there. Oh, up there. I thought, I thought you were looking here. No. It's like the like proper like the Welsh wall, isn't it? Welsh you know, with, slate. Yeah, with the thin, like the thin stuff. Right, let's go in here. They're all quite light and bright and airy, these rooms, aren't they? Oh, look. Yeah, I'm going to go and have a look at them in a minute. But yeah, don't you think they're all bright and nice, these rooms? Yeah. That's been freshly plastered at some point, hasn't it? Yeah, that's a walk coming in still, probably yeah. somewhere. Yeah. It's kind of a shame. Oh, that says Meccano on it. Look in that box. It's an old wooden box, that, isn't it? 
Oh, other end, you fool. Oh, it's there. Oh, look. With the instructions and everything, the old, it's got very wet. Yeah. But look, at, is that like an engine-y bit? Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's got a steam train type thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that, you know what? Collectors would be all over that. Yeah, look, it's got all the instructions which have gone down. Oh, helicopter. Oh, all things. sorts of different yeah. things, yeah. Some boy will have played for hours. Oh, and be a power lapse. Yeah, is that, is that in there as well? It's a scale, yeah, scale electric. It's full, I think. Look, oh, the car's missing now. Maybe. Yeah, they're the things that people pinch, aren't they? The cars. Look underneath that side. Yeah, I think the, the track the track's ten a penny, but the the cars are worth money. Yeah. But there's all sorts of little bits and bobs. I have just seen some. Insects crawling about in here. Is that a bell? Is it a bell? Yeah. A buzzer for the the. Whoever. Oh, Andy, have you not noticed that in the corner, next to the pictures you were just looking at? What safe? It's a built-in safe. I thought it was a picture. That's really good. And I'll come over here and I'll have a look when I push my way past you. It's like a model photo, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That's really good. By Her Majesty's Royal Letter Patent, John Port, Patent Safe Manufacturer, Manchester. That's really good. I bet you can't get in it. No, you can't. That's a shame. Oh, do you reckon it's him? Same teeth. Yeah, yeah, I it think is. it's the same, yeah. Yeah, I think I agree. And then there's these up here as well. But that safe, I would love to know what's in there. I wonder if, where the key is for that. I haven't seen any keys I, at all. Oh, is that the wardrobe door? Yeah. Yeah. Be. But no, it'll just be in a drawer somewhere, I bet you. Knocking about somewhere. But it just interests me. Not that I want to take the stuff that's in it. I just want to know what's in it. It's like a mystery that you can't solve. See that, that's alt saves, don't we? Yeah. In there. But that's it. This is our, like, interest to find things that you wouldn't, normally see so when we see something we can't actually get in it makes you even more interested but i don't know where you would hide the key for that i've shown you out the front windows a minute ago this is the back window look at it for a start we're right next to a, a massive hill but look at the garden totally totally overgrown you'd like to get out there wouldn't you bear Ratting. definitely rats and rabbits out there wouldn't they but did he say there's something in in that top cupboard? I can't get in it. Oh. It like it's locked, but the lock doesn't work. Yeah. That's weird. It's like unlocked, but what's in the bottom cupboard then? Anything? Nothing. Books. Oh, lots of books. Oh, dandy. Grimm's fairy tales again. Oh, is it the big version? Is that what the big versions are? Oh no, they're encyclopedias, aren't they? Yeah. Where are you looking at Grimm's? Don't oh, they? over there. Yeah. Oh, look at those as well. These aren't that Solar old. Solar power lab. Some of these books aren't that old, you know. Yeah, she's got SpongeBob. Yeah, and Dandy's 2007. So, they're not that old. Oh, were we not looking at Ty something to do with Tiger of the week? Yeah, I think so. That's cool. Rupert Annual as well. Oh, I used to have Rupert I Annuals. Did. But the encyclopedias, I don't... <laughs> Didn't they used to like salesmen used to come round with them? You had to sell Encyclopedia Britannica. Yeah, and you used to buy like A to H and then like <laughs> all the different letters and stuff I like bought, that. I uh, bought a DIY collection called The Knowledge. Right. And I think there were 20 books in that one. And it, everything to do with about DIY, how to fix stuff and stuff. Do you remember seeing all the adverts on the telly where you bought, you got a magazine and a piece of a boat every week to yeah. make a boat? I once worked it out, it cost about six grand to build this boat. I know. Just buy a boat. You could literally buy an, a real boat. 99 pence for first one, then yeah. 99 of every, <laughs> yeah. every publish, publication after that. Yeah, exactly. But that's what I'm saying. With six grand, you could actually buy a boat. Yeah. It's ridiculous. You could make this Formula One car. Yeah. In 4,000 easy steps. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? You can you buy to, one for that. You had to wait a month, but the thing is... Yeah, because it was monthly, not weekly. Yeah, monthly. And if you missed one, you'd fucked it. Yeah, and you couldn't, you couldn't back order them no. again. So you think, that's it. <laughs> I wonder if anybody ever bought them. They must Somebody have done. Was. 
But yeah. the thing is as well, if the company went out of business halfway through, you you screwed. Yeah. Or by the time when you started doing it, you were seven. By the time you finished, you were ninety six. So I just think if you got to the last one, then you couldn't get the last bit. Yeah, exactly. I'd smash it to bits. <laughs> is there anything in these drawers? I, I ain't got the patience for stuff like that. Uh, if it were weekly, at least you only got to stick one piece on. But like, I've been doing. Oh, careful! Is it just clothes and stuff anyway? Yeah. By lots of things, I've been doing jigsaws with our Freddie recently. He I loves don't them. Mind jigsaws. I really like. You can go back to it though. Leave it and go back to it yeah. when you want. We've been doing a map of the world, and he loves it. It's like I we bought Megan the Central Perk Lego set. Oh friends. right, yeah. And um, we sat there for hours doing it. Me <laughs> and her. I it was, she stood, she still got it on the shelf. Really? And I let her finish it off. It's better again with that torch. I thought someone could upstairs. And um, she's absolutely chuffed with it. But yeah. It's so expensive, aren't oh, it? Oh, I know. I went to Legoland recently and the shop like, literally spent hundreds of pounds in about two seconds. Yeah. So easy done. Anyway. Oh, I'd not noticed the sink in this corner. I'd like a sink in my bedroom, I think. What, so you just get out of bed and piss in it? Like, you know, well, yeah, or washy willy after sex, that sort of thing. It's, uh, it's a good idea. What's got you... Look how you hold a book eight miles from your face. I know, because I'm short sighted. Ridiculous, man. What is this? French phrase book. <laughs> you planning a trip? Eight miles. Come on. You should get it out of your pocket. Come on. That's keep going. one regret from school now. Languages. Languages. I want to be I know good you can at languages. I still do it now, but I just haven't got patience. No, but I, I can't do language. I can't do English at the best of times. I'm dyslexic anyway, but French <laughs> is just not. And like Spanish and stuff, I know little bits. Yeah, like I've got us through in the past with certain words and phrases, but yeah. that's about that's it. it. That French guy that we spoke to, oh, forget I that. knew half of what he was saying, but I couldn't work out most of it. So, talking bollocks, weren't he? <laughs> right, he could have been slagging us off and all sorts. Yeah, of you just don't know, do you? Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a conch, conch, conch. I don't know just a games. Oh, yeah, is, is it a conch or a conch? I can never remember. It's a conch. Listen to it. What can you hear? It's fucking Norton. <laughs> He's trying to ring me on a shell. <laughs> Who's Michelle? <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, let's keep going. Right, why did... <laughs> it is really cold. It's, it's that wind outside We've come well. through so much snow as well, though, haven't we, today? Yeah, there's nothing here. Yeah, well, it's snowed on here. It seems like you should have it. Why do People's people... advertising, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Why do people put these things on the backs of doors? Because they can push it like that and it's easy to wipe. Oh, so you don't get stains on you your doors? Stains on your doors. Right, I understand now. But you know, that, that lock seems a bit excessive for a bedroom door. Don't you think? He's a fucking He's just his little bum going up there. <laughs> Not like he's doing that on the stairs. Like wiping his ass like dogs do when they've got something wrong with a bum. <laughs> You can visualise it, can't you? Yeah, Lowell did it on our bed the other day. Oh, that's disgusting. You should have seen me cracker. <laughs> you better not have. And just like, oi! <laughs> it's like, paws with an arse on the bed. <laughs> what are you doing, little bitch? You can't say that. And we've been, oh no, we haven't been in all the rooms down here. There's loads. Oh. What? One, two, three, four, oh yeah, five. Yeah, there's a toilet as well, isn't there? Yeah, so I thought that. I thought I didn't count that one. Yeah, no, you have. It's a very... Like, what you do in this room, I'm not quite sure. You couldn't even fit a bed in and have any gap down the side, could yeah, you? Study that, innit? Yeah, maybe. Reading room. Right. Look, talk about big wardrobes. Look at the size of that. That is absolutely massive. It is... It's not getting that downstairs, are Huge. <laughs> What is happening here? Where's the bed gone? Because look. Oh. What, is he, what is he doing? Listen, listen. I don't know what he's doing up there. Oh, look at this. What's that? Is that just a vent? Looks like it. It's right? weird though. Oh, you're back. Covered in cobwebs again. Yeah, the bed used to be there, yeah, it? massive bed with there with that thing over the top. Like the mattress is there, but the bed's gone. That's really odd. What is with those curtains? They are horrendously bad. It's Barbara Cartland's house. <laughs> yeah, it does seem like it. Oh, is that um? 
Oh, what they used to make rolling pins and stuff that were blue and white, that blue and white pottery. Have a look underneath it. Oh, what? Ugh, that sperm. Lift that up. Again, don't tip it out. That's disgusting. That's awful. It's a wank bowl. <laughs> oh, and then a little uh, changing room thing. Is that the house right now next to us where somebody lives? Yeah. Oh, dear. I thought I'd say you down there because it's literally yeah. about seven, foot, eight foot away. Yeah, they're like right next door there, look. Although it looks like... I like they've got abandoned cars in their front thing. Maybe. Another nice fireplace. Oh, I like the tiles that are on the bottom. Oh, Jesus Christ, Andy. I like the little tiles that are on the bottom there, though. They're good. I like them a lot. And the design on there is nice as well. Some graduation there, look. Oh, University of Liverpool. Graduation. So, would you say... No, this isn't even the master bedroom, is it? I'd say that, that other, other one. other one is, yeah. Yeah. But it's still a big, decent-sized room in here. Look at that wardrobe. That wardrobe is massive. Like, it had come into three pieces, that, anyway, wouldn't it? Break into three. Yeah. And then the top would come the off as well. Off yeah. But then I think it would probably break down, like, in between here somehow. What? What are you doing? Can, are you that cold you can't even be bothered to take your hat off? I'm not taking this hat off. You ain't got a prayer. I'll get frostbite. I mean, I'll get... It is so cold. It is really cold. Um, yeah, a little mini bedpan. Have you seen the size of that telly, though? Like, if you could have a nice big bedroom like this, you need a telly a bit bigger than that. Ten days of destiny. Ten days of destiny? Yeah. Michael what? Foote. He's a politician as well, isn't he? The storm of war. And pretty straight guys. I've not heard of any of them, no. to be fair. This top one. Oh, oh. Capitulation, 1945. Oh, mm. interesting. Right, are we upstairs next? Just final plan, I think it's final room, isn't it? Yeah, let's go and have a look then. Right, heading up into the attic. It's not a white room up here then, it's just a skylight. Oh, is it? I love it up here already, I can't even see up here. I love it because that exposed wall. I think it's really good. Oh yeah, it does look like there's a light on up here. No wonder he's covered in stuff. Is it raining? Sounds like it. Might be snowing. Could be rain, could be snow. <gasps> oh, what you found? Oh, it's good. It, this could be made into a fantastic space. You've made it to like little office type thing up here. Oh, it's what bigger than I thought it was. Goes on for a bit. Oh, look at it though. Right, there's summer here to kill vampires with. Look. <laughs> 89 steak. <laughs> it's like a, an actual grave. It is. Oh my Lord, Helen Mark, who died 22nd of January 2005, age 41, why is that? Sat there in that in there. Is she under that table, that chair? She's in that watering can. <laughs> Why is that there? It's been it round as well. Yeah. That's weird. Why have they brought that back here? She was only 40, she was younger than me in 2005. That's a shame, isn't it? Yeah. Look at him. He's definitely getting in the bits that we can't get to today. No, 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 no. no. Right, let's have a look through here. What's that bit for? Slide a slide bit. It slides to the one side. Just lift his camera up because it's all over the back. There we go. Yeah, what's... I don't understand. Does it slide? Might be, might be cha-cha instead. Shut up. That is the worst joke I think I've ever... You got it. You got it. I did get it, but it's still terrible. But it should? It should, yeah. And what's the box for underneath? Can you lift the lid up on the box? <laughs> <laughs> Getting attacked by cobwebs. Yeah, does the box lift up? No. No, you're not lifting, you're pushing it. Lift it. Not nothing, yeah. Oh, okay. Not... Let me have a look around. Do not believe it at all, you <laughs> I don't. It's because you're a bit useless at times. I... I don't... Is it still inside the building? Yeah. 
That's why, that's why it don't make sense. Oh, I don't like this. I don't understand because it sort of doesn't slide at this side. It no. It's all a bit odd. Oh, I've got cobwebs all over my face. Oh, look. The animals of Farthing Wood. Like the full collection of the animals of Farthing Wood. The books or? No, the videos. Oh. Yeah, I used to watch that on telly. I used to love animals of Farthing Wood. Although, once they all went on a big walk and went across a motorway and I thought they were all going to die. And it traumatised me a bit. I remember it really well. So, I think one of them might have got splattered like a fox or something. Or a badger. Oh no, because Badger, I think, was the main character, so it can't have been him. I feel like I'm just talking and talking. Don't know what's wrong with me today. Hey, look, part of a grandfather clock it's there. The biggest cricket bat I've ever seen. Can you please get this off my face? Because I can't... No, yeah, that's it. Ugh. Hang on. Ugh. Ugh. It's all in my hair. Biggest cricket bat you've ever seen. <laughs> look at that. What is it? This is what we could hear him doing, isn't it? Yeah. Rampaging through here. But yeah, look at that for a cricket bar. 1986 Bricklayer's Arms. Duke's head. Bricklayer's Arms, Duke's head. Oh, so do you reckon they went... Oh, yeah. Bricklayer's Arms and Duke's head. Yeah. They all have gone head to head. To head. Yeah. But every time they played, yeah, so the other... Hole that floor there. I know. There's holes all over the floor. I'm surprised he's not gone through it, to be fair. I'm a bit worried about him. That he's going to go through this floor, to be honest. Because it's going to hurt, isn't it, that? Just a little. You know when he was little, when he was a pup? Yeah. Uh, probably almost one he was. He was on the edge of a cliff that was probably the height of this building, the top of it. He fell off and landed on his side, got up, walked off. Because he's an idiot. I don't know, he just bounced. We're taking that. What, that big chest? Yeah. <gasps> That'd be put. It's not long enough, is it? If somebody wants to make me a coffin that's as deep as that box, but longer... But it's got to be that. Just be careful on here. It's full of wallpaper. Is it? Yeah. I'm coming with you. Oh, I'm scared now because it's a bit dodgy on here. And I know how thin this floor is underneath. There's nothing to it at all. <gasps> oh, that were bendy. Yeah, that height would be perfect, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think a little bit wider though. What are you saying? What are you saying? A little bit wider. Because you're not going to have no arm movement. So you're saying it's got to be this width and also no, about this that. height? About, about that wide. About another six inches wide. Yeah, right. And also, it's going to be a lot of digging, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I said. I was digging this hole. You? That's your contribution to it. What is this? What is this dangling down? I've not even noticed that. What is he doing? There. Look at his hair, his head. He's like there's a spider going to come down and pick him up in a minute. He's just covered in it. Absolutely covered. What the hell is this? What's that for, do you think? Look, it says Intraval, Left for Fed, Finnegan. Yeah, what are the, what is it? Oh! General anaesthesia. His mouth and airway to left of that hole. Oh, oh yeah. Operator. Clear mouth. And what's this bit here for? Is that like to insert it somehow? Oh careful with that, that is sharp. That's a horrible little needle, that you can hardly even I see it end, can't you? Yeah. yeah. That's oh, it's bendy look. Is it? It will be to go into a vein, won't it? Oh don't. I don't like it. Um but what? Don't tip it that way. Are you stupid? Why would you tip it that way? Tip it that way. My needle's oh. falling out. What are you doing? Just control things, man. Contro don't, don't tip it that way. Tip it this yeah, way. Yeah, so move them. Pick them up. Move them. Put them in that. No. Then shut it. No. Look. Oh, oh dental emergency kit. Why would you have a dental emergency kit? Just in case you broke your teeth. Yeah, but who has who has dental emergencies in life? <laughs> what else we got in here? Oh, look at that dome. That's like what we've got. Oh, oh is clock. it for the clock? Be oh, careful. Oh, that's some more of that stuff, isn't it? Phenylene or whatever it's called. Dentaline. 
What's that thing? Oh, be careful with them. Just, I don't know how you're going to do this now. I don't either. Just put, these down. put them down somewhere. What's that thing there with the handly bit? Yeah, that. Is it a teapot? Oh, it's a very, it's like a genie. I can imagine genie coming out of a lamp with that. What's up with your face? It is though, Hello. isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But what else we got in here? What's the pewterish looking thing? That, that might be pewter. Sounds like there's pennies in it. Oh, look at all the old money in there. There's a medal. Get the medal out. Oh. Put that on here. All the way up. The arm. 50 50 chance, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, you still get it wrong every time. Look, the Army Rifle Association, this. Number 7 Platoon, Private R. Wilson. And it says... I don't believe it! <laughs> um, it says, something platoon, Lewis Gun competition, 1921. Oh, that's good. What's it made out of, that? Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. Really heavy. That that medal's brill. 1921, it's over, it's 100 years old, that. 102 years old. What's that? Peter the First, Peter the First, excellent progress. Peter the First? Didn't realise they gave away things in, in Peter the First day. What's the thing in the corner? That little box. Hinged, w weird looking box. You're putting it on the wrong thing. Oh, it was on there. I know, you were about to put it on the other thing. Oh, that's heavy as well. Yeah. Think well. Oh, maybe. It's an elephant. I've not noticed. Turn it around. Well, it can't be anything. Well, can't get in it. That's odd, isn't it? What an odd little item that is. Oh, that is... Heavy. Heavy. It's like, it's like that dog. Yeah. It's, is it... What's it made out of then? Brass? Brass. Not sure. What's the little thing there? Is it a commemorative 1977? Oh, that's good. Is that... Um, to do with pressure. Barometer, yeah. yeah. Another barometer thing, isn't it? That, is it 1977 medal for her uh, thing? Yeah, look. I think that's a, a five pound coin as well. I think you, yeah. can, you can get, I think you can still spend them, you know. Oh, is it an old pound note? Yeah. It's a pound note. I haven't seen a pound note for such a long time. That one? That's the same. That's Bank of Scotland. That's got that Mickey Mouse money. Oh. I will smash your face in. Did you know that um, Scottish money is actually not legal tender? Yeah. You don't have to accept it in England if you don't want to. No. But I always argued for years and years in every shop, you have to take this. It's legal tender, but technically Jersey, no. Jersey, that. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. The state, the states of Jersey. Turn it over. Ah, that's interesting. I didn't even, even know they had there. Like tender for that. I think so it would just pound. Yeah. In fact, in fact I thought it would it'd be like Frank or Euro now. Well, no, because isn't it Guernsey that's French and Jersey that's English? Jersey's like Bureau de Étrangers, which is the police. <laughs> no, but one of them's it's English. It's Bergerac, isn't it? It's one of them's English, though, and one of them's French. Guernsey is English. Are you sure? Jersey is French. No, I think you're wrong. I think you've got that the wrong way around. I could be wrong. People will tell us in the comments. Bank of Scotland, one pound. It's good, that. It's a bit battered, that one. Yeah. Oh, see what I mean about looking in stuff and finding things? You've got the clock for that. Yeah, it's all bent up, oh, which is indeed. a shame. Yeah. What else we got in there? Nothing, is that, is that the lid off that pewtery thing? That? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? No. Oh, it's that? there, yeah. Yeah. So... In. Let's have a look and see what we can see in these things over here. In. Like, what is that thing there? There's some weird looking stuff. Right, Andy's moved the chair with all the stuff in, so I can have a look down here. Now, we tried to get in them, but they're all rusted shut, but that... I think it's just one big trunk, isn't it? Yeah, that trunk's amazing. I'd love that for travelling. It'd be so good. Like, going off on, like... What's that trait? Not the Orient Express, the other one that goes all the way like across Russia and things like that. Yeah. I'd love to go on something like that with a big trunk like that. It'd be really good. You're disgusting. I don't want to see you windmilling. Maggot. 
<laughs> but yeah, I like oh, looking at what these things are. I just think it's it's just bits of copper. Oh, Andy, there's stuff in here to look at. Yeah, I'll pass it out to you. Right, okay. so underneath all the the stuff on top, I definitely can see little bits of look. The Coronation Street. Yeah, like Coronation Street. That's what I thought a minute ago. And some of those are worth money because if you look and there's names on the back, that's a weird looking little parrot thing, isn't it? Mm. And there seems to be a lot of ducks in here. It's all ducks. Oh, careful. Oh. It's like past the parcel. Oh, there's lots of little bits of tap. Look, there's more down here. More ducks. Another duck. Oh, almost like. Mother duck went quack, 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 and duck. three little ducks came swimming. Mother duck. Back. What's on the back of them? Anything? Uh, Keel Street Pottery. Why is it all ducks? Why is it just birds in here? Duck. It's a box of ducks. But yeah, like, I don't want to spend forever going through them, but they all seem to be oh, birds. Good. I don't really understand why. Why is the duck so many ducks oh. in a box? What? Is that a brass duck? Yeah. Jesus Christ. That's what I felt like I got when we are out. It's cold brass ducks. They're sticking out like wing nuts. Wooden another one. Oh, yeah. It's birds. That's weird. Why would you have a box of birds? Box of birds. Bear, can you even see out of that eye? Look at me, Bear. That's it. Clean him up. Oh, little tramp dog, aren't you? Go on, then. You go find those rabbits. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it, boy? Where is it? Find it. Find it. Is it there? Oh, no. There you go. Now you're stuck. Can't I'll turn, turn round. And if you back, go backwards, you're going to fall. You've got a bit of a shitty bum, dog. What is it? You find it. Right, I'll leave you there then to, to just enjoy so that. It's just made for us. Well balanced from Yorkshire, looking for someone with great taste. Yeah, yeah, every single one of our subscribers. Perfect partners. Oh, we are, aren't we? There you go. Oh, we're not. Well balanced, and we're from Yorkshire. We're not partners. Looking for though. someone with great taste. We're not partners, though. You know this, don't you? We're partners in crime. Well, fair... you can't say crime. It's not crime. No, we're partners in civil trespass. Bear boy, are you a good boy? You managed to get turned round, didn't you? You coming then? Oh, no. Oh, is it signed on the back? Yeah. Oh, that's good. From the eighties. I bet somebody's missing that. I bet they're like. Do you, do you remember that? That we. Yeah, it says ninety three on the front. Yeah. Yeah, they're like. Do you remember that thing we used to do, where we used to play every a couple of years? What we happened used to, to play like pub against pub, and some bastard nicked the bloody cricket yeah, bat thing. Yeah, and it's in it's in somebody's house. Oh, we should try and find the bricklayer's arms. between 88 and 93? I don't know. I was thinking that. Maybe it was just bad weather. <laughs> they didn't want to go out in, in rain. Yeah. Right. I think we're about done, aren't we? Yeah. Let's go and make sure there's nothing in that other side and then we'll go back downstairs. Right, heading back downstairs. There isn't anything else in this side, which is a shame. We're just saying it is such a shame that this building has just been left. Because it's it's in a really good state at the moment, but I just don't think it's going to last like this for very much longer. I think it's going to slowly deteriorate until there's not very much left. Right, this is the back of the house that I was showing you out of the window. What a shame this is. I wonder what's in that garage, Andy. Like, there's no way of getting to that at all. There's a bin under there, like a, a brown bin. It's all grown round it. But look, this is how close we are to the next door neighbours. Very, very close. But what a shame. Such a lovely house. And if you look at the other houses next door, what they've done to them, it could be amazing, couldn't it? Yeah. It really could be good. But anyway, let's make our way back to the car. With Bear Boy on the, on the lead, he doesn't like walking through brambles because he's only a little dog. He struggles a bit. He gets treated like a baby, this one. He just looked at me and said, please carry me. 
because I can't do it myself. So I ended up struggling whilst holding a dog. Anyway, let's catch up with Andy. Now I've got to be quiet because there's somebody on the other side of there. But that's the front of the house. You can see what Andy meant now about the front of the house. It's very overgrown in it. But anyway, let's head back to the car. Right, before we get back to the car, I just wanted to show you the view. It's going to be obviously very windy on here, but look at the snow up on the mountains. And that way is over to the sea. So beautiful, absolutely beautiful up here. It's just a shame it's in Wales. Right, as we were about to leave and we're about to go and get in the car, we noticed another house, like three doors down from where we are, didn't where we were before. Yeah. Like literally just around the corner. And now there's nothing in it, but I just needed to show you the place. What is he doing? <laughs> you fat ass, you can't see <laughs> up windowsill. <laughs> I wish I'd shown you that then. One sec, let me show you this room. This is the master bedroom. And I, I can't believe how big it is. Look at this. Right, so Andy's in the alcove at one end next to the, the little fire bed. I don't know what he's doing. Stride out how big this room is. Right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a half. That's, it's a big room, That's isn't it? Be. So if I've got two foot strides. Yeah. That's a, a 19 foot long room. It's, it's, quite, it's quite big in it. And like the width of it as well. You can't really see it on here. And you've got a little sink in the corner. Horrendous, horrendous um, carpets. And then looking out onto the road. And once again, it's all overgrown and horrible. 2001 newspaper. Oh, is it? This house would be fantastic to live in. Like we've just said, it needs a lot of work doing because look, you've got damp coming through and all sorts. Do you reckon there's an attic? Because I haven't very seen it. Very tiny one. Oh, is there? Yeah. Yeah, but it must be a big space up there. A tiny patch here. Yeah. But I just wonder if there's anything actually up it. Where? There. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've got a huge beam there, look. Oh, yeah. That is pretty big. I wish I could see up there. Bear's having such a good time looking round. But I'll just give you a whiz, sort of fast tour of this place. So you've got another massive bedroom there as well. Then on into this that just sort of goes on and on. Another bedroom in here with a little tiny Victorian fireplace. Outside, you've got a big greenhouse and it is a big greenhouse as well. It's attached to the house, you can walk straight out into it. You've got some stairs down there, and then a bedroom that looks like it's some sort of jungle with wood panelling and, oh, another bit up to the water tank there as well. So that's the top floor. Have we done that? Is that everything on the top floor? I think so, isn't it? Oh, is there another bedroom? Yeah, this one. Yeah, so another bedroom. Here. Side bedroom huh? Yeah. Right at the front of the house as well, overlooking probably the mountains and the sea that we were looking at a minute ago. Such a shame. And then we've got down these big grand stairs as well. So we'll go down there next. Now I know I'm rushing round here. It's just, I don't want to bore you with just showing you a house without anything in it. But look at it, like this is the main front door. This is like a reception area almost. With a, a big, you can have a big roaring fire and something in what would you have in that corner piano you could have a piano it would work wouldn't it i want to paint this green though it's a bit no. dark isn't it? no but green is like a victorian color yeah. so i wonder if they tried to keep although i wouldn't have green with orange and red yeah what, what's that all about that makes no sense at all so anyway this this next room for me that i'm boring i'm going this way exactly, yeah. go this way yeah so you've got Another living room with a big bay window. Now, obviously, you'd have to literally rip down all these trees to make it nice, light and bright in here. You've got a wood-burning stove. And then on, again. Oh, we've got some doors out to the outside. There we go in now. Oh, just noticed that as well, look. Little um, fire blanket, isn't it? Mm -hmm. When's that from, do you think? You reckon that's like the 50s or something? 
It's old, anyway, isn't it? It is. Maybe before that, L and G. Don't they make cigarettes? L and B. What has he just done then? He did something and then came running back. You be naughty. Now he's not going to get very good footage off him now because his torch has run out. But he's having such a good time. Right, where do we go from here? Then we've got the kitchen. Look at this kitchen. Like, don't get me wrong, it's very dated. But look at the size of this kitchen. It's just magnificent. It's such a good size kitchen, isn't it, this? I think you like farmhouse kitchen, Oh, it? yeah, you would. I don't know whether I'd have some sort of central thing An there, island. though. Island. Yeah. Island. yeah, definitely. You've got that in there. I don't know what's... Oh, this is um, a little pantry, which makes me think a bit of a jail cell. And the meat hook's up there as well. Andy thinks it's been redone. I think it's original, but we're not sure. Don't know. But on again. Now, this kitchen's just amazing. I think Rachel would love this place, to be fair. Just not in Wales. Buy it. Oh, yeah. Okay. But let's keep going. Right, moving on again. I don't know what this... Would there be books in here, I think? It's been a cloakroom at some point. Yeah, because see the books have been... Up. Yeah. Then you've got... A little downstairs bathroom. There was a, was there a bathroom? Oh, there's only two little tiny bathrooms, isn't there? Yeah. And then this, oh no, what's this? Oh, is this like a little utility room? Can yeah. you get out of that door? Oh, oh well, there's a big electric box. Oh, it's a coin meter, that. Is it? Oh, it's gonna be a while then since uh, it's been used if it's got a coin meter on it. No, I can't get out of there. But you can see the construction, it's like old stone, really old stone. But look at this for a main living room. Look at the size of it in here, with those big double doors out. You've got a massive fireplace there as well, which actually I really do like, even though I don't think it's that old. I, I like it. This mirrors the bedroom upstairs. Yeah, it is, it's exactly the same, but I think maybe seems bigger because of that big open space there, straight outside. But what a shame. And like I said, you can't really see, but behind there, it's down to the sea. And up there, it's towards the mountains. And the house where we were is literally about three doors down that way. Yeah, which is <laughs> ridiculous. It is mad. How do people not move here? Even if you get it as a B&B, because it's like the Welsh coast. Yeah. People will come here, won't they? An Airbnb. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could do it. It's going to cost a lot, though, to do it up, innit? That's yeah. the thing. But why has it been let to get to this stage in the first place? Yeah. Makes no sense. Anyway, we're getting out here, Bear. Now we've shown them round. Like you out? If you can get round back. Yeah, yeah, let's go and have a look, see if we can. Right, so that's the end. That's the cellar. We didn't go down the cellar, but basically, it's flooded anyway. So... There's not a great deal to see. And it's just full of rubbish. But we're outside those big double doors that went into that big room. God, it's a bit slippy underfoot. And there's somebody over there making noises, so I've got to be careful. But look at the size of this place. It's absolutely massive and beautiful. That's into that main room again. Hey, what's this? But Andy's just walked straight past whatever this is. Andy, what's this? It steps down to it though. It's like a saw pipe there, well. Yeah, but I feel like there's a reason for that though. Wonder what it is, like why it's been there in the, in the past. But yeah, look, look at the size of this building. It is absolutely massive. Oh, there's another little outbuilding up there. It's such a shame. You could literally turn this into a granny flat that's up here. The <laughs> carpet getting stuck in the door. <laughs> Your girl bag stuck. Come back. It's unbearing. Let me have a stick this in. It is, it is a granny flat. Oh, is it? Can you not block the door and I'll have a look? Yeah, you can get in. Then you can get in and look. Oh, yeah, because I've got to wait for you. Because you've got to go first. Mr Andy, I'm more important than everybody else. Yeah, because I can get in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Oh, look at this. You got any No, but why is it like a little grotto? It's got like weird doors and stuff. This is bizarre. Little, it is like a granny fat, definitely, isn't it? Look, little uh, kitchen area. And this weird looking room in here. This is all a bit odd. Just, it's got a weird feeling in here. What do you think? It's an odd room. That feels the top on that. Yeah, it's flat, a flat top. Really odd. And then have you seen outside as well? Yeah. I don't know if all that land belongs to this or not. What's that machinery? Out there? Mm -hmm. What's that for? <laughs> Is it jammed? No, it opens. Go on. Why are you peeking out of the window? Yeah, what is that? It's got a pump in it. Is it? Yeah. And that looks like a pulley type thing, maybe. Yeah, another pump. Is it? Like a water pump. I swear there's a vehicle up there. Around this corner. Just need to be careful, because if there is someone around here, bear will bite them. But look, you can see the back of the house now. Over there. What a beautiful place this is. And a big wood barn as well. With all sorts of stuff in it. Right. Let's head back down then. Right. Oh, look at it in here. Oh, it's very overgrown. Look at it. Oh, what a shame. Have you noticed as well? Some of these trees and vines and stuff have just broken the way through the windows. Yeah. They've <laughs> just smashed the way through altogether. It would have been a lovely little greenhouse at one point, this though. Ah! It's all brambles and all sorts. Bears getting tied up in it as well. What's that? That would have been for the heat. Oh, yeah. To pump the water through and heat it. You're a serious gardener if you've got heating for your flowers, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, that's really good. I didn't notice that. I wonder if those pipes and the workings and stuff up there was is to do with that water that runs down. I think there used to be an old pumping station somewhere. Yeah, maybe. But there's a, as we were coming in, there's a little building to the left, weren't there? Did you see it? I didn't notice it. Yeah. I mean, so it's, I think that could be the new pumping station. Maybe. Well, he's getting himself all tied up in there. I don't think he can get out. <laughs> He's got camera stuck. What are you getting, Bear? Oh, this is going to make some real good footage for your channel, innit? Getting jammed on stuff. Come on, then. Come on, let's go. Look at Steve. Poor lad. You like poor it. boy. Come on, then. Come on. He don't know how to get out. I'm going to have to go in and rescue him in a minute, I think. If you no, can't, no, we'll walk away from him. If you walk away from him, I'll make more effort. And then if you can't get out, I'll go back in and get him. Right, I'm, I'm back. I stood round the corner because I didn't think he was making any effort, but I've just listened to him struggling to get out. And he's just stuck because of the camera. Like normally you'd have no problem getting himself out of things, but because he's got that attached to him, he's got all tied up, aren't you, Bear? Come here, let me drag you out. It's all right. Oh, he's proper stuck. Proper stuck, aren't you? Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Ah, I'm proper stuck. Right, in a minute, Andy's gonna come after rescue both of us, because I'm gonna be tied up in it too. Andrew! Andy! Come and help us! We're both stuck! No, I can't get it off because I can't pull it because it's all um, spiky. You've got gloves on so you can have to do it. Poor lad. Look at him. Don't start feeling sorry for yourself because it's just not happening, is it? It's not, it's not him that's stuck though, it's the camera. So it's my fault really for putting it on him. It's like vines, isn't it? Like triffids. <laughs> there we go. Go on, Bear. Get out of here with your sideways camera. Go on, this way. Come on, where not are you that, going? Not that way. Go this way. Go. Way. go. Go, go, go. 
Why are you? <laughs> He's an idiot. Come on, let's get out of here. Right, just one quick last look at this place before we go. Look how amazing that is. Blue skies behind it. The balcony up at the top on the right. It's massive, an absolute massive place, isn't it? What it's a view. beautiful to live here. It is. Look, it's got the big grand gates as well. So at one point, this would have been wonderful. It's got big seats and stuff over at that side. It would have been massive grounds, I reckon, around the back. Amazing. Anyway, let's uh, let's get back in that car for the four-hour journey home, shall we? Aye. But at least we're going to be home quite early, shall well, we? Well, yeah, that's it. At least uh, we get a good night's sleep tonight, ready for the next explore. Yeah. Right, so we came to do the outro somewhere where it'd be nice for you to see because it's the daytime for a change. And we ended up here. Now, I just want to quickly show you around, but it's very windy, so... One sec. Right, so over there, that thing there is Andy's head. Over there. And, but then look at this view. Now, I apologise for the wind. But while I was here, parking the car up, we noticed this little train track that had run all the way along the edge. Andy's up there. Look into a tunnel now I am a bit scared that I'm gonna get in this tunnel and the trains gonna come I don't know where and where Andy's gonna think I've gone because I've not even told him surely it don't go all the way through look at this this is freaking me out oh look it does <laughs> how cool is this so I've left Andy that direction and I'm going through this tunnel. This is madness. I'm gonna have to hurry up. See if that little train comes. I don't think it's gonna this time of year. I think it probably is only for summer. But look, where am I gonna come out to? Andy's gonna wonder where I've gone. Look at this. This is madness. Right, I'll show you what's over this hill. And like I said, I'm sorry about the wind. But look at that, that's so cool. Now I might have to do a voiceover on this, because I'm guessing the wind is going to be horrendous. And there, I can see him. He is there, right there. Oh, look at it. This place is amazing. If it wasn't minus 27, it would be beautiful. Anyway, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go find him and then we'll say goodbye. See you in a minute. Andy! Right, I'm, I'm coming back the other way through the tunnel and I swear I can, I can, I can hear a train. I can hear a train coming. I need to hurry up. I can't be getting run over by a train. Right, I've figured it out. The train is there. And it's not even the train that's coming through here. Right, and he's back in the car. Let's get out of here. But sand in my eyes. Jesus Christ. That was good though, weren't it? It was like a little adventure at the end of an adventure. I thought there were a bloody train coming. Are you there? <laughs> I, I thought, oh my God, he's in tunnel. <laughs> we're halfway through. Anyway, not going to hang around very long. I feel like this video is going to be a very long video because we've just had adventure after adventure after adventure. So I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a long, long way to come. It's like an eight hour drive in total, isn't it, there and back. Yeah, I think it's been worth it though. It has, I've really enjoyed it. It's great to get out in the day. And hopefully we'll get a few more day explorers done soon enough. Yeah. But anyway, if you haven't subscribed to Beeper Bear, get over to his channel, Beeper Beef, oh. Beeper Bits, Beeper Bounce Back. What else? Get on Facebook. You'll Instagram, find, Twitter. Yeah, you'll find out so much more about us on there than you will on here. And 
stuff that we ask you questions and ask you what you want us to do and things get on there anyway we're gonna go i'm hyper today what is wrong with me well, you won't be in about two hours time what when i'm asleep and driving yeah. that's not good is it but yeah we're going Ooh, yeah tired today love you so yeah. much bye 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 and bear says Oof. <laughs>